And the Cavs go into the Highlight Factory and LeBron comes out with a win. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Serious Minds TV and I'm coming in here with another video. The Cleveland Cavaliers defeat the Atlanta Hawks in a overtime thriller at the Highlight Factory 110-108. to To check out the highlights from this game, check out this clip. LeBron on the verge of history yet again tonight. Second quarter, J.R. Smith. Well, you know what? Just put it in the neighborhood and he'll go get it. I mean, that was not the ideal alley-oop, but James able to adjust midair. And then look at LeBron. Big time throw it out. He had 14 in the first half. Cavs leading by 14 at the break. Again, more on LeBron momentarily. The Hawks would battle back in the third. Paul Millsap. What a steady professional. And then Kyle Korver for three. Millsap from Kent Bazemore, part of a 21-6 run by the Hawks to grab a three-point lead. Later in the third, here's LeBron. Locked off the window by Al Horford. They call goaltending there, and that basket moves James past the great Oscar Robertson into 11th on the NBA all-time scoring list. Fourth quarter, 43 seconds to go. James all the way, a lot of contact, a lot of contact, no call. Hawks get it back. Look at Jeff Teague, high off the window. We're tied at 96, 10 seconds to go. LeBron for the lead, no. Kent Bazemore the rebound, he'd be okay. Hawks call timeout. They have a chance to win it. They have a chance to win it. They had a chance to win it. Jeff Teague didn't even get a shot off. So we go to overtime. In OT, tied at 102. 113 to go. What a feed by LeBron to Tristan Thompson. Cavs by two. Hawks get it back. Al Horford. The set shot goes down. So it's a one-point game. 35 seconds to go. Now a three-point game. 15 seconds to play. Paul Millsap all the way. One-point game. Kyrie Irving went one of two from the line. The Hawks a chance to win on Horford's three. It does not go down. Now, watching this game, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't think this is gonna be a good game. I actually turned from it because the Hawks were down in that second quarter by like, I think like 19 points at one point. But the Atlanta Hawks prevailed. They came back in that third quarter and they eventually took a one point lead in the fourth quarter and they took the game into overtime. Jeff Teague. He could have won the game for the Hawks in the fourth quarter, but I guess he didn't realize how much time he had left because it seemed like he was just taking his time. He wasn't, like, trying to – he wasn't hurrying up. Like, he wasn't playing with enough urgency, you know what I'm saying? But in overtime, you know, in overtime, it was, it was basically back and forth, back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Like, towards the end of the game, there were a lot of fouls being called, and uh, Al Horford – Hit, tried to make a three from the top of the key, but he ended up being too strong, and he ended up missing missing the shot. LeBron James led all scores, and he had a near triple-double with 29 points, 16 rebounds, and 9 assists. Paul Millsap also had 29 points for the Atlanta Hawks, and Jeff T chipped in with 28 points of his own. This was a great game to watch, and I'm glad I watched it. This is a potential playoff preview. Now, with the season winding down, especially in the Eastern Conference, wins are valuable to come by. The Cavaliers are pretty much locked in for their number one seed in the Eastern Conference. Unless they go on a, di uh, a drastic, you know, slide, the Raptors can, you know, eventually take the number one spot. However, in positions three through eight, anybody could get it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, had to come in here and give y'all a quick game recap over the Cavaliers Hawks game that that went to overtime and the Cavaliers eventually prevailed 110 to 108 in Atlanta. So if you enjoyed this game recap, please hit the like button. If you want to see more game recaps and all the other videos on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. We are 23 subscribers away from 200. So if you like the videos and you enjoy them and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, all my social media links are in the description below and they're on the screen right now. So if you want to follow me on social media, especially my Facebook and my Instagram pages, please go ahead and do so. Give me your thoughts on this. Tell me what you guys thought of the overtime thriller at the highlight factor between the Cavaliers and the Hawks. Leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section below.
So for all your sports, gaming, and sneaker news, it's your boy Sears Minds TV, and I'm out.